Ten and a half. Outwards. Turn. Ten and a half. Rest on arms. Reverse. Good morning and um, welcome you all here to this commemorative service for the Tauri District RSA. And it's great to see turnout here and all you little people, thank you very much for getting out of bed and coming. It's really appreciated by our friends. I now introduce Keith Crawford from the Tauri Gospel Chapel. Father God, we gather here this morning to remember before you those who served our nation, Zacharippe, over a hundred years ago. We also remember all the others who served in World War I and II, and also the many other wars since. We, we remember them with a grateful heart for the sacrifice that they gave. We pray for those who served in war and are here with us today. And we pray for those who are still grieving for the loss of loved ones in war. We pray that they will find healing and peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for our government who lead us now. May they lead us in a way of peace and integrity. We pray for those who serve our country now and ask that you will keep them safe and help them uphold peace and justice. Heavenly Father, we have all been affected by the tragedy and grief of war, and we ask for healing for our hearts and minds. We pray that we will live lives of peace, forgiveness, integrity, and love as we move forward into the future. And we ask these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every year we come together on Anzac Day to remember those who fought for freedom. Men and women who looked out into the future and saw that the life they enjoyed was about to be taken from them and the generations after them. So the people of New Zealand rallied together in order to protect the freedom we now enjoy. They may not have been willing. They may have even thought that it was a chance for travel and adventure. But nevertheless, they did it because they knew that the only way that New Zealand would get to enjoy freedom was through the giving of their own lives for a future that they could not see. This freedom is now something that all people who have chosen to be a citizen of New Zealand can now enjoy. I find it remarkable how they gave their lives to give us and the future generation something that we may not even deserve. They may have gone out not knowing what it would cost, but nevertheless, they went. However, this leaves me with a challenge. What am I doing in order to benefit the future generations? What am I doing to benefit the people around me? Suicide, family violence, broken families, the list goes on, but the rate is all too high. We need to start fighting, then turn things around. Jesus says, the greatest love you can have for your friends is to give your life for them. This is something that Jesus did for us. Jesus fought, Jesus fought against evil and gave his life to give those who believe in him a future life to look forward to. Our forebears fought a great evil in order to give us the life we enjoy today. But what about us? What are we fighting for today? We need to show our kids much how much we love them by giving up something that we want to do in order to take an interest in their lives. We need to fight for our relationships to make them better. Today we remember those who gave their lives for us, but will we give our lives for the better of someone else? 
Thank you very much, Tim. Age shall not weary them, for the years come again. And I've been going down with the sun, and then the morning, we will remember them.
May the goodness and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be found by all. And as we remember those who fought for us, may we fight for the life that the Lord Jesus has called us to live. One of faith, love, peace, and a greater love of God and the people around us. Amen. Right, march off. Right to the right. Right. Tack. Left. Right. March. Thank <laughs> you. 